Hey guys, Capper here. Welcome back on September 11th, 9-11. We're out in Kentucky. I was helping out our lease guys get some fall food plots in and once again we were behind the power curve a little. Went from zero to hero and of course a few mishaps and this and that. But beautiful day we got here. Join us for some fresh air and see if we don't break anything and can get some plots in. Well, here we are Saturday morning, 9-11. Remembering course what happened on 9-11 I remember exactly where I was at anyways headed over to help the guys with food plots over in the Kentucky side almost there all right so we're on our way out got all kinds of vehicles coming we're triaging you know the most important the best plots first in case we have a breakdown beautiful day we got here so uh, it's already been adventurous almost you know couldn't get up the darn hill with the truck and the trailer but we'll keep going all right here we go here's the boys from Kentucky for everyone that's interested we got Gary on the left and Chance on the right. What do you guys think, man? Beautiful property. Definitely beautiful. Uh, wonderful place. Wonderful place. We're looking forward to uh, seeing what uh, what it produces. Yeah, hopefully you can give us some vlog videos. That'll be cool. I almost forgot how beautiful it was out here. Uh, the boys used the uh, old Megatron 2.0 and uh, got everything mowed up for me. So we're going to start here on the fall plots. It's going to be all at once as long as we don't break down. Zero to hero. Zero to hero. Zero to hero. So I'm chisel disking. It's going really, really slow. As you can see, getting tons of sod. We didn't get this prep uh, properly, but I wanted to bring the rhino tiller, but I had to fix that gasket leak and it wasn't dry yet. And I didn't want to bring the small tiller for fear of uh, blowing it up and then, uh, and then we're SOL. So just keep going at it like this. I'm on number two right now. So here's my piles. All right, Joe, for your voiceover, we're uh, starting with the uh, wheat. Alright, so if you guys have ever done food plots or planting or anything, you, you kind of know that when you have more than one guy, it makes things exponentially faster. So I got this one worked up with a disc chisel. So I got them started on the uh, Cereal Madness. It's a special mix of uh, cereal grains that Curtis makes. And then I'm on the next one now disking it up and we're gonna just keep leapfrogging back and forth and we're gonna pound these out as fast as we possibly can. So good, good progress. We're uh, they're planting number two now, and I'm gonna go start on number three.
Gary makes my Polaris look good. Or wait, maybe the Polaris makes Gary look good. What a nice combo right there. All right, moving to the very last one. Look at how tall this grass is here. I think this was a warm season grass planting at one time. Uh, it's gotta be eight, eight foot high. Last plot coming up, last one. My back is toast. I can do it though, one more. So when I planted all these last year, I plant all my food plots, half in a clover, chicory, perennial mix, and then the other half a fall mix. Although clover you have to keep up on, or it'll, it'll turn to weeds like in one growing season if you don't keep up on it. But there's still a lot of clover in here. So in addition to having them fertilize the brand new fall plots we put in, I had them fertilize the clover stands that had you know a pretty good chunk of clover in there as well and then we also broadcast uh, brassicas out in kind of the clover and the overgrown field areas just for a little more tonnage and hopefully we will get some rain so that's a wrap for today we got four beautiful food plots completely in Join me in wishing Gary and Chance good luck this deer season. This is only the second farm that we've actually leased out for deer hunting. Um, as you guys know, I like to buy equipment and I got a lot of bills and stuff. So just, we decided to lease it this year. So I want these guys to have a great experience and hopefully a lot of fun as well this deer season. So best of luck, guys. We'll catch you on the next go around.